Hello everyone. Sorry this video is um, out so late. I've only, believe it or not, I've only just woken up. I had my first day off and it's been fantastic. Well, know what my challenge is, uh, which will come in the video later. But for now, as I was doing the challenge, as I was getting ready to film the challenge rather, a box came with, came to my house. Geek Gear Wizardry December Edition. I wonder what's in here. Don't wait. Shall we have a look together? Let's see. Oh, this looks interesting. So there's a wand in here. Oh, wow. I think this is meant to be the bookshop. Oh no, it's Dumbledore's, it's Dumbledore's office. There's forks. There's no forks. I'm loving the colours though. The colours are so warm and so festive. Yeah, orange, red, yellows. It's actually, it's actually quite welcoming. Look at it, it looks like a proper dumb, um, office as well. That's the balcony where he was standing, and Forks, or maybe that's meant to be Forks there. Forks would have been, I think he would have been about here somewhere. So other than Forks, it's actually quite well detailed, I'm loving it. It's actually pretty good. I'm definitely wearing this tomorrow. Check out tomorrow's video, see if I'm wearing this. It's going to be so cool. Um, let's have a look. We've got this again. I never win these. Um, we have a very well wrapped box. I don't know what the hints are because I've because I've been so busy at work. I haven't kept an eye. It looks like a timer. Oh! Um, have they, have they sent me the wrong timer? Is all of these supposed to be? This is the Slytherin house, um, meter clock. It's how they tell. It's a little hourglass and actually, it actually works as well. This is... I mean, it's so cool, but it's not a Hufflepuff. And I'm wondering whether that's a mistake or whether they're all supposed to be like this. And this is actually supposed to be a special hourglass. It'd be interesting to see when I get the um, information book out, if this is meant to be a Hufflepuff one and I've been sent the wrong one. Let's have a, a little look. Let's put this one over here for now. I'm just going to get all of these out because I'm interested. Well, I would be able to tell you, but there is no booklet. Um, which is a little bit annoying. Because um, it means I can't verify whether that's meant to be a mistake or not. I'll have to look at other videos, see if they get different colours. The reason I suspect that this is meant to be the wrong colour is because this is the, definitely the Slytherin one. You can see the snake heads on it. confused. I'm wondering if it is meant to be a mistake. Have a look 
in here. Haven't I got this one? Oh no, 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 this is the queen. So I've got the king, and now, is it the queen? I think it is. And now I've got the queen. So I've nearly got the complete chess set, at least for this colour. This looks pretty cool. One day I might even try playing my own wizard chest. There is a chest. It'd be the boring one because there's only one white piece and the rest of these are black. Be interesting to see if they send any more white pieces down or whether I'm meant to order them. But this is so cool. I'm loving this. Not for small, not for children under three years old due to small parts which can be swallowed. Or was I thinking it was um, lemon drops? Oh, this is clever. Why do you add a word smile to it? Can it open? Oh, it can. It's a little shop stand. Sherbet lemons. Bewitching burst of citrus. It's a little bit scratched, but I think that's meant to be part of it because it's a blackboard. But look at the detail on that blackboard. That is incredible. Oh, wow. That takes place on my window. Wow. Okay, apart from that hourglass, that is pretty impressive. Okay, so here's the charm bracelet, which I'll have to put away in a sec. Ah, it's a winged key. That is, that is impressive. I'll show you the wings as well. The wings are incredible. They are absolutely brilliant. And you can see the little notch on the key as well. That is fantastic. Let's stick that over here just to keep it safe and we've got a pin as well just get that off the back end Two way pins, so you've got to have two pins in order to do it. But it is, I think it's meant to be the sign or the crest of the pub. I'm not sure which pub. I suspect it's the pub that Harry first goes to. The Sword and Three Ravens. No, the Dagger and Three Ravens. I'm not sure. I'll have to research this. As you know, I've started doing um, an extra to these videos where I actually do research. So I might do research on that hourglass and say, yes, I was meant to get that hourglass. Or no, I wasn't. I need to contact Geek Gear and find out what's going on. I've been very cautious about contacting Geek Gear recently. Due to COVID, I expect mistakes to be made. Because um, everyone's just so under so much stress and strain. It wouldn't surprise me if someone forgot that I was meant to be Hufflepuff or my box was given to the wrong person. So the way I imagine Geek Gear is that they have a collection of people. So they say, you're doing Gryffindor stuff, you're doing Hufflepuff, you're doing Ravenclaw and you're doing Slivering. Um, and it's possible that my box may have been given to the Slivering person rather than to the Hufflepuff person, which is why I've got the wrong hourglass. Saying that, I, maybe I was meant to get that hourglass and they just haven't really done that much in the way of mixing because they're so short a staff, they can't do the Gryffindor, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slivering. I've never been to a Geek Gear warehouse before, so I don't know how it works. If that's meant to be like that, 
the hourglass is pretty cool. It's actually stopped the sand. If it's not meant to be, then the, that is the only disappointment that it is the wrong um, house. But we're going to have to see see what it looks like. Interestingly, I'm interested. Now, going back to this again, I'm, I'm going to keep rambling about this. This has the marks of the snakes on the top and the bottom, and then you can see the tail right here. If this is meant to be what Slytherin's meant to look like, I wonder what the Hufflepuff would look like. Or the others, actually. I'd be curious to see what the others look like. Let's put the Queen standing up. And we've got today's picture, which isn't hand drawn. It's got another bit of cardboard too, which is very helpful. And it is Luna Lovegood. I'm not, I'm not sure which scene this is meant to be, but there's her glasses, there's her glasses, her special spectacles. I can't remember what scene this is meant to be. I need to watch the Harry Potter films again. But this is, in a way, pretty, I mean, look at the detail on them is pretty good. And even though it's... Um, a Warner Brothers article, it actually looks like it's supposed to be drawn, which is brilliant. That kind of detail really does show sometimes with some of the products that we get. Now, there was one other one, the wand. Hide that a little bit, because let's find out what kind of wand we've got. Oh, wow. Hello, Elsa. I'm all, you know that I started um, saying who I think, other than Harry Potter character, Elsa would definitely have a wand like this. Look at it. It's got, it's like royalty. Royalty, the queen as well. Actually, with that bit, I could only imagine Elsa having that bit. Or the Snow Queen. Kind of the same thing, but... I mean, that alone indicates royalty. Someone of royalty definitely would have this wand. And that bit at the end, when you've got just a little icicle, just screams Elsa. I don't know why, but it just screams Elsa. And the D, I mean, it's got beautiful spiral. I am always amazed by how detailed these wands are. These must have taken months to do. But these are just absolutely brilliant i know it's resin so they they do the resin and they decorate it i could almost imagine this being on a little turnstile and him with a brush going <laughs> just moving along the stick until he gets to the end but that must have taken some control to be able to not go over this but i imagine this bit would probably be painted again if he did go over and the detail on that bit there is just so brilliant. It's just so incredible, so awesome. I'm loving these ones more and more. Let's find out what it's called. Mm, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. It is called the Regalia Wand. And it certainly is bright, but it's quite posh. Check out what's in it. 13, 13 and three quarter inch. The core is ruby dust. Very expensive. That's probably the most expensive wand I've ever got. And it's an ebony wood, which explains how dark it is. And the ruby dust suggests that this would have been probably really expensive. So it would have been of high quality royal blood 
maybe you know considering um i don't know how rich you would have to be in the what in the wizarding world i mean harry potter was quite rich but then again you've got families like draco malfoy who would have been even more richer so i can imagine him being quite rich but the detail on this is just absolutely incredible absolutely incredible So as you know, I've been doing these for a while and one thing that I do want to do this year, so I'm doing specials between now and Christmas, is I want to show you my favourite ones, both the Geek Gear made ones and the character ones that I've collected as well. I've got to warn you, the character ones I haven't collected as much, so there's, there's going to be moments where I might accidentally mix the two up. I might show you my favourite t-shirts as well, although admittedly I've got to find half of them because half of I probably not meant to, but I've been wearing the t-shirts, as you can see. I've got one of the t-shirts right here. And I just love wearing the t-shirts. I think they're really, really cool. Um, so I might have to base it on old pictures I've got of the t-shirts to show you which ones I really enjoy. And... Um, probably show you my favourite items as well. Now I'm just going to go, I'm just going to see if um, Geek Gear have emailed me about the fact that there is no information. Maybe they've stopped the information because there is nothing else in here. I did at one point think that they were tucking it into these little flaps here, but there is nothing. So basically on my own. Let's have a look, see if Geek Gear have got a PDF version of what's meant to be in here. And let's find out if that is meant to be. I might have to look, see if I've got the hints as well. So. Okay, so I, as I've said, I now try and do little research as well if there's an item that I don't know and I haven't got the leaflet to rely on. So I've done a little bit of research um, on one of the items and I was completely wrong, and I apologise for that. You see, the hourglass that I was under the impression was the hourglass that they use for Slytherin is in actual fact the hourglass used by Professor Slughorn when he's timing them to do the luck potion. He turns it over and says... You have an hour. Does this mean that Slughorn was a Slytherin at the time? Because I'm convinced I got some of it right, that he was or may have been a Slytherin at Hogwarts. It is pretty cool that it's an actual working hourglass. And I'm not too disappointed that I didn't know who it was. I, it's been a while since I've watched the films. I might do a marathon at some point and tell you how the marathon goes. It's one of those things that I need to um, do as a New Year's resolution, try and get on top of my Harry Potter knowledge. I am more of a Fantastic Beasts fan than I am a Harry Potter fan, but uh, maybe I need to broaden that a little bit. But it's it's been huge fun this year, opening all of the unboxings. So check out my videos later as I reveal which, which um, ones are my favourite, uh, maybe which t-shirts as well, depends on whether I can find them, uh, and particularly um, which items um, of Geek Gear that I particularly enjoy or love. Maybe not do one where I think that they could improve slightly, because Geek Gear have already, they, they always give me high quality stuff. I have only ever had two problems with Geek Gear, and that's been transport problems, not... Um, and the actual items themselves. And when I say transport problems, I mean the items have been broken through transit, so I can't really be, be completely horrible to Geek Gear. And obviously this year, they have had quite a lot of transport problems um, with the deliveries. So whereas originally they were quite punctual, um, they have, so I have received Geek Gear, Geek Gear boxes the next month to the one that I was meant to get it. I've just received a message saying that the special edition, December special, is on its way. 
Um, that probably ar won't arrive until after Christmas. I am aware that Royal Mail have got a huge backlog of um, Christmas presents and other stuff. Generally, December, November are usually the days where I kind of dismiss the kind of lateness of the boxes because they may send the boxes out on time. But as someone who also works in online retail, I have a similar, we have similar problems as well. We send them out on time and they just won't get delivered on time um, because of the huge ginormous backlog of Christmas presents, Christmas cards, parcels, deliveries. I can imagine it's probably, particularly this year, completely and utterly chaotic in the, the kind of environment that we're in. So I can't really criticize Geek Gear for um, being late. Um, I can't really criticise anything, to be honest, to do with Geek Gear. Um, so I'm going to switch back to um, normal me and uh, see what uh, other things we get. Shall we now? So now we've got the scratch card, and once again, I don't have a coin on me. So I'm just going to. Yeah, no win again. I can just about see it through the crack where I've had to scrape it with my nail, so I've got to clean my nail. But yeah, no win. Once again, never win those. All in all, I'm pretty impressed. Somewhere. I imagine they're somewhere around here. But anyway, that's today's Geek Gear opening. See you later to show you what the challenges are. But until then, stay safe, stay well, keep the magic in your fingertips, and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.